Secretary uh, of the State, uh, a great friend of Israel, uh, uh, Mrs. Uh, Pompeo, uh, the Ambassador. Uh, we just had a great uh, visit and uh, I think briefing about the Golan Heights. Uh, I would like to take the opportunity to thank uh, both the uh, President uh, Trump and the Secretary for their long support for the security and the fate of the State of Israel. Uh, Secretary made an historic visit to the Golan Heights, I think first ever to here. He, uh, as a former head of the CIA, he, he, he know he know the facts, but he insisted to come to see firsthand and to hear the briefing from the military uh, commanders and to hear from our legendary hero uh, Kaalani what happened in his background. He was an officer, armored officer, so we knew the story. But um, um, and I think. Uh, there is no need to explain when you stand here what's the strategic importance of the Golan Heights. So thank you for uh, recognizing the sovereignty of the state of Israel. Uh, thank you for uh, coming and I uh, really appreciate it. Thank you very much to the American Foreign Minister, to the Prime Minister, who came to the Ramat Golan. He was asked to come here. It's a big history. The first time that the issue of so much of the American government is considered in the Ramat Golan. He not only knows it, but he also knows it. The Minister wants to come and listen to the soldiers, to see the land, to come close to the situation. I want to thank you. שגריר, לנשיא, על ההכרה ברמת הגולן, על כל התמיכה היוצאת מן הכלל שהם מפגינים במשך שנים למדינת ישראל. מדינת ישראל בטוחה יותר כתוצאה מהתמיכה האמריקאית, ואני מודה באופן אישי למזכיר המדינה, לנשיא, לשגריר, על כל מה שישראל, אזרחיה, חייבים לה. תודה רבה. Um, 35 years ago, as a young cadet, I studied about this very place, this, this amazing and important piece of real estate. Uh, you, you can't stand here and stare out at what's across the border and deny the central thing that President Trump recognized that previous presidents had refused to do, that this is a part of Israel, a central part of Israel. I remember, too, not long after I was a cadet, I was an officer in the United States Army, and I remember the international pressure to return this very place to Syria. It was all the rage in the salons in Europe and in the elite institutions in America to say that this should be returned to Syria. Imagine, imagine with Assad in control of this place, the risk, the harm to the West and to Israel and to the people of Israel. Uh, President Trump just recognized the basic fact that this indeed is part of Israel, and it was an honor to be here. It was an honor to be here with General Kalani and to hear the story, the, the famous Battle of the Valley of Tears fought here, uh, where uh, as a younger officer he saved this great nation. So it's great to be here with you. Uh, I told the Prime Minister that I very much wanted to come here on this trip uh, to, uh, uh, to tell the world uh, that we have it right that we, the United States, has it right, and that Israel has it right, and that each nation has the right to defend itself and its own sovereignty, and that the United States of America and the Trump administration will continue to do all that we can to make sure that Israel has what it needs to do just that, and we will honor your right to defend your own people. So thank you very much, Mr. Foreign Minister, for being with me, and thank you all for joining us out here today. Thanks. Thank you.